Hey guys, welcome to another video brought to you by Beats Media. Today I'm going to be starting my very own eBay store. Recently I've seen a lot of videos about people going to thrift stores, garage sales, purchasing a bunch of items and reselling them on eBay for a higher price. So I thought I'd just give it a little try and see what happens. By the time that I watch these people's videos, they are already pulling in like thousands of dollars a month. But I decided to start a little series. So right now we're starting at zero dollars a month. I'm gonna be walking you through how much I purchase stuff for, how much I'm actually selling them for. These vlog type videos will come one to three times a week. And then at the end of the week, I'll be doing like an earnings report just summarizing anything that may have been purchased from my eBay store. So let's get started. If you guys are looking to getting started in reselling on eBay, let me show you guys how to do that. So right here we have the free eBay app. And if you're currently in a thrift store and you're looking to see what the value of something is, you can easily just go up here and click on this picture icon. And it'll show up as a barcode scanner. So say if I found this copy of Halo 2 at the thrift store, I could just scan the barcode. You know, tell me how much people are currently listing Halo 2 on eBay for. And if you go up to this section right here where it says filter, click on that. Scroll all the way down and then you'll see sold items. And then it'll filter out to what people are actually paying for Halo 2. For example, this person paid $6.95 in addition to free shipping and then $6.39. And it also gives you the date that these items are sold for. So 2-18-19, this was just sold today. 2-18-19, all of these were sold just today. However, if you have an item that doesn't have the barcode, you could just search up the item like the Star Trek mug. Let's try to find that on eBay. So I just typed in Star Trek mug, search. And let's see if we could find something similar. There's a lot of Star Trek mugs, so I'm not gonna search through all of these. Let's go over to filter and go over to sold items again and see if there's any under this section that sold recently. Oh, here we have it. Here we have this exact same Star Trek mug that we have over here. It's on eBay and it was just sold on February 4th, 2019. And we click on that and we can see the original listing here. This one sold for $17.91 in condition new. So I bought this at a thrift store here, so I won't be listing it as new. However, I can scroll down on the listing and find one that's actually for sale. So this one is currently for sale. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you'll see sell one like this. So if I click on that, oh, populate everything similar to that listing. Like it already gave me a title, the category, and the description of the item, all I have to do is take a picture of it in addition to sorting out the pricing, in addition to figuring out the shipping, like the dimensions of the box, the weight, and I could also choose to do free shipping, which means that I'll pay for it, but to start off, I'll most likely have the buyers pay for the shipping, and then you could preview your listing or list your item. So let me show you guys my inventory. All right, so I thought it'd be cool for you guys to experience the eBay shop for me just walking in here. So this is actually the upstairs of my garage. So turning this into kind of like a little eBay workshop, as you can see here, I'm going to have all of my packing materials here. Got some bubble wrap and such over there. These are just things I need to move out of the way. Shipping boxes here. There's the DVD boxes and these are the padded envelopes. And here, fancy little clipboard. Here is going to be my scale to weigh boxes and anything else I might be selling at the moment. Over here we have TV, VCR, and DVD just to test things out. I just thought it'd be helpful to have that in here. And obviously this thing is gonna be the packing station. We're gonna have some bubble wrap up here and then it'll just line downwards like that. So hoping to get some bubble wrap for that at some point in time. And then here we're gonna have the eBay inventory. So there's still some tools and junk over there that are not for sale or anything just happen to be in here. That's the only outlet that works in this room. I'm hoping to get more um, outlets in here at some point, but that's the one we have to work with for now. So I have a table there in case I need to test anything out. Now let's go over to the inventory here. 
So as you can see right now, I have a couple of Roku sticks that I happen to have and never use. So those are still brand new in the package that I'm going to be trying to sell. Pokemon books and a couple of Xbox 360 games, a couple movies, and this Yu-Gi-Oh wallet. And just scrolling through here, we have my old Elgato, the Star Trek mug. We have a couple of my college textbooks in addition to some good old 50 shades. I've never read them, but I saw them at the thrift store. So I saw I pick them up and a couple of other random assortment of things that I've acquired over the years that I just happen to have around HTP VR up there. We have the Xbox one microphone right there. I actually bought this cause I bought a guitar a long time ago that I never even opened or used. So there's that. And we have a nice little new wallet here that's still in the case. And I was at Goodwill the other day and I happened to find this. This is a cassette player here. Uh, you just put the cassette in here and then obviously output here for left and right and then headphones and you could just turn. That's basically just a cassette player. I could have just said that, but I got it at Goodwill for about five bucks and on eBay it's selling for I think 30 plus. So if I'm able to test this out, my father-in-law is gonna help me by letting me borrow some cassette tapes and he says he has a headphone that'll fit in that jack. So waiting on that for right now. Over here we have a Comcast remote control that mice for your computer. A couple of keyboards, actually three, three keyboards right here. And I told my mom what I'm going to be doing and she happened to donate two pairs of shoes that she never wore. So going to be trying to sell those as well. And down here, look at this. Do you guys recognize what this is? This is a Zune. I had this back in high school and these are still selling on eBay. So I'm going to give that a shot and uh, see what we can do with that. Over here, we just have a Superman glass with just pens and pencils. And I'm going to be hanging a random assortment of things here once I figure out what I'm doing. And growing all the way down to over here we have some iPhone boxes that I'm gonna sell because apparently people buy the boxes for whatever reason I, I don't understand but I'm not sure how I'm gonna be listing that because I purchased that on eBay or not on eBay Amazon a long time ago and I can't seem to find the listing so we'll see I have no idea what this is but still in the package I'm gonna see if I could set that for a dollar or something a random assortment of VHS tapes that I got off of somebody on Facebook Marketplace. Didn't pay anything. They just happened to be getting rid of it. And, and I saw it. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll grab it. Let's see what we could do. Airplane 1 and 2, Dumb and Dumber, Toy Story 1 and 2. Uh, those things are going to be my main sellers off of this particular pile. In addition to some of the random Disney movies down here. So we'll see what we could do. Obviously, we got it for free. So why not? But yeah, this is just going to be a place that I am going to do my eBay business. Going to be wrapping and such. And I have this here to take pictures. Um, I actually have my old webcam that I don't use anymore. In addition to something I got for free. Why I ordered my gaming PC. So going to be listing that as well. And we'll see what we could do with it. A little bit of a pan shot of the whole place so you can see what we're working with. Sorry about the overexposure on the light here, but yeah, this is going to be pretty sweet. So from day one, you guys are going to see my journey into this wonderful world of selling on eBay. And now we're going to go pick up some boxes. And just like that, we were able to get some boxes. So on eBay, if you don't pay for an eBay store, you get 50 free listings a month. So for my first month, I'm just gonna try to at least list 50 things. So I spent some time over here going through making a list of the things that I'm gonna list and now I'm going to weigh them. Here's here's my stack of things that I'm gonna be listing here to start for this month. So here I have the Elgato and I'm just gonna weigh it out just to see how much it weighs. And then I'm also gonna add in the box that I'm most likely gonna be sending it in just so I can get a rough estimate of the whole full weight when I actually ship it. Let's make sure it closes properly, okay. So this is how the box is gonna be sent out and as you can see, the actual weight is 24.66 ounces. And I'm just gonna write that down over here, 4.66. I'm also going to get the dimensions of the box. So 11 and a half inches, 11 and a half inches by eight. And we'll say about 
And this is the process that I'm gonna go for all the other items. Alright, so we just finished weighing everything and getting the dimensions for all the boxes. So next thing we need to do is take a picture of everything. Okay, so at this point I have all the items that I want to list, all of my 50 items. I have the name, title, and then I also have the weight of everything in addition to what box dimension I'm going to use for each particular item. So this took me a couple hours and now I'm going to list them all on my eBay profile. So I'm going to end the video there. Um, this has been the first day of my eBay store and we'll see if we sell anything as the week progresses. So if you're interested in seeing an eBay series, click on the playlist down below and it'll show you from day one to however long I decide to do this, if it turns a profit or not. At this point, I'll indicate how much I've spent on my inventory down below. You'll see it. So this is the amount that I've currently spent on the inventory that you guys saw in my garage. And like I said, I'll be uploading at least one eBay video a week. And at the end of every week or every month, I'll be doing a what sold on eBay video so you guys can see what sold from my store. Also, I'll be doing sourcing videos. And if you guys aren't familiar with the term sourcing, it's a term that is used when you go to a thrift store, find an item that you wanna sell for profit with that method that I showed you in the beginning of the video. So if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys later.